Hi everyone, Jennifer here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Tuesday, and that means it's Star Wars Day. And this week's episode of The Clone Wars was... Old Friend. While on a diplomatic mission, Padme runs across someone who she hasn't seen in a long time. Clovis. And he informs her that he has information that the Republic and the Jedi Knights might find relative. Okay, things I liked about this episode. I'm going to be completely honest with you. There wasn't a lot I liked about this episode. Well, not a lot, but there, um, there wasn't anything I really liked about this episode. Chief among them was the fact that they brought Clovis back. And we haven't seen him since really early on in the series. And from the impression I got... Um, from when we last saw him, he was in hot water with the people he was working with. And I honestly did not think we were going to see him again. As you remember, at the end of that episode, um, he in that episode, he was supposed to bring Padme to, I believe, the banking clan or something. Um, or the Trade Federation, uh, the Trade Federation, who's supposed to bring Padme to the Trade Federation, and she managed to escape. So I honestly thought at the end of the episode, oh, we're not seeing him again. He's not going to be coming back. Um, so I was very surprised that he was in this episode. Um, but other, um, other than that, really, um, nothing I really liked about this episode, and that kind of probably falls more into the things I didn't like category. Um... But really nothing I didn't like about this, I liked about this episode. I believe, again, this they're trying to tie up loose ends this season and season seven. They're really just trying to tie up the loose ends for um, Star Wars, um, Clone Wars, um, and some of the questions that are left with Revenge of the Sith um, before they move into Re Revenge of the Sith and then Rebels. Okay, flip side of that coin, things I didn't like about this episode. Again, really nothing I didn't like about this episode. Um, I did say that I wasn't impressed with Clovis being in this episode. But again, it's not something I didn't like. It's more of a I was surprised that he was in this episode. And I'm not going to state again because I already on the last page stated why. But really, nothing worth nitpicking over. I think this is going to be very interesting. I know we've got at least one other episode with this particular storyline. So, you know, we may see where... It, we're going to definitely see where it goes and what happens with Clovis. Okay, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Please like and share this video if you're watching on Facebook, or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube. And feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures they use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. And the links for the four sites I mentioned will be in the description section if that makes it any easier for you guys to locate me on those sites. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my related Star Wars videos.
my other Star Wars TV Talk videos. my other TV talk videos. and my other videos.
second before we sign off a few things I'd like to touch on. First off, YouTube subscribers. Any of my videos that cannot be found on YouTube are on my Facebook page. The link will be in the description section. Facebook friends. Basically the same deal. Any of my videos that cannot be found on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. The link will be in the description section. And to anyone who's interested, you can feel free to check out my Facebook group, Fanfic Corner. The link for that will be in the description section as well. I'd like to apologize for not posting a video in a while. Unfortunately, with the holidays and work, I just did not have the time. Unfortunately, this will happen from time to time. Okay, in 13 weeks, DreamWorks Dragons will be coming to an end. And that means there will be an opening for a new TV Talk series for Sunday. And that also means that you guys get to tell me what show you would like me to do a review video on, or a series of review videos on, for Sunday. Your choices are Horseland, Outlaw Star, Dot Hex Sign, and Inuyasha. Voting is very simple. All you have to do is write down a positive comment and or like or love a positive comment on one of the four shows listed and whichever one gets the most votes is the one I'll do a video or a series of videos on. Please keep in mind that negative comments and dislikes do not count as votes and yes, if it is selected and I can find the, the follow-up to it, if Inyasha is selected and I can find the follow-up to it, I will do the sequel or the follow-up series following my TV Talk videos on Inuyasha, but that's only if Inuyasha is selected and I can actually find um, the follow-up series. Voting will be until the 13th of March, but if I have to change this, I will let you know. You may vote as many times as you wish, but in the event of a tie or no votes, I do have the final say. So far, the votes stand at one vote for Horseland, but there is 12 weeks left, so be sure to get your votes in and make your voices known. I would like to thank everybody for watching this video, and if you're watching on YouTube, you can click on the links to either watch my previous video for TV Talk or my previous video for t my Star Wars TV Talk video. My previous TV Talk Star Wars video, excuse me. You can also, if you haven't already, click the, click the link to subscribe to my channel. Okay, and there is nothing left to say except to have a very nice day, and may the Force be with you.